what is up guys uh we have a new linux mint distro out today well not today it's been out for about four days it's just the rc version and i'm just gonna go ahead and review it for you see show you what's different in this from 14 the code name for this one is olivia opposed from uh god i use the 14 all the time what's it called I forgot the other name. I can't believe I forgot the name of the other one because that's the one I always use. But anyway, I'm probably going to install this one to my system. Right now, It's um, I have it booted off of a USB. Uh, it looks similar to your you know, normal Linux Mint Cinnamon experience. But there are a few new things that they have added on. So anyway, let's get into this review, and I'll show you what the new things that they've added on are. So first off, we'll go to the menu here. Go to System Tools, and you'll notice that... Is it System Tools? Oh, preferences, sorry. We'll go to Preferences, and you'll notice instead of Cinnamon Settings... Yeah, it says cinnamon settings. There's no, there's no cinnamon settings. It's system settings, I believe, is what they changed it to. Yep. And this is where all your themes and everything are. They've added a screensaver, and lock settings. They've added applications and removable media. They've added this. This is cool. Desklets. If I go here, um, let's see, I can go ahead, let's launch it, and then you click Add to Desktop. It's like a little applet, kind of like in KDE when you have the little, and this just opens your system settings, and then we have a clock. Desklet, we can put that over here, you know, you just for your clock and then have your system settings right up under it so I thought that was pretty cool and you can go on you know you can go online and get more right now I believe there's only two because like I said this is a very new concept we got general desktop settings Startup programs, that's also new. It's actually in the system settings. I, I don't believe it's in there on the other one. The only thing that I don't like is that they've taken out effects. Like, you can't mess with the effects on here. You know, how fast the window zoom, like closes and scales out. I'm sure they'll add that in the main release. But for now, you, you do not have that on the RC version they still have the uh, normal you know desktop switcher they have it where you can name your desktop still I believe this distro is using cinnamon 1.8 so we can uh, still name our you know still name our desktops and stuff we'll go over here I'll just go down the line of the uh, menu. It's the same as Cinnamon in the uh, in 14. Uh, right here we have our archive manager, you know, accessories, calculator, character maps, disks, all the normal stuff you find in accessories. G edit, the screenshot, the terminal, of course. Now this is new. I don't believe this is. This was in the other one. Tomboy notes. Oh, so it's like little sticky notes. So these are. This is just like a little sticky note you can add to the desktop. This, the Windows has a similar, a similar thing. Okay, well, well, well I'll mess with that later. But it it looks like it's just a note, a notepad.
character maps. And I, I believe, I don't know, the menu feels a lot more fluent to me in, in this version. Like it just flows better. Health and USB image router. And then we have administrations. Apt on CD, backup tool, domain blocker, firewall configuration. I don't believe that 14 came with Gparted. So that's really that's really a nice thing to have whenever you're wanting to uh, partition your hard drive. You know, if you're dual booting Windows and Linux or Mac and Linux, stuff like that. Or if you're dual booting Linux and Linux. Install, which I will be doing later. Login window, you can mess with your login window from here. Uh, software manager. Synaptic package manager, update manager, upload manager, and Windows wireless drivers. That's all... So on the other one, and then here we have our graphics editing software. We have GIMP image editor, document viewer, GFM, image viewer, LibreOffice draw, and simple scan. Uh, for the internet, we have our normal Firefox. Uh, we have our normal Pigeon Internet Messenger. We have our normal Thunderbird transmission and XChat IRC. <clears throat> we have a full Office suite. We have the entire LibreOffice suite. We have the base. LibreOffice Calc, which is like um, Microsoft Excel. Here we have Office Draw, which is like Paint, I believe, in Windows. Impress, which is like um, PowerPoint, Microsoft PowerPoint. And then here we have LibreOffice Writer, which is like Microsoft Word. Preferences. We have Apt on CD again, Backup Tool, Disks, Domain Blocker again, Driver Manager. Like that. Firewall configuration, G parted, ice T web control panel, input method, install Linux Mint, language support. Oh, and the install Linux Mint won't be there, obviously, when you install. Login window. Oh, they just started this, I believe, with 14, and they're still doing it with 15. It comes with Java already installed. 13 didn't didn't do that I, I don't believe so that's good password and keys personal file sharing software manager software sources startup application synaptic package manager update manager upload manager welcome screen and windows wireless drivers we'll go over here to sound and video where we have our banshee um, media player versario uh, disk burner kazam which is what I'm using to record this video and a movie player. We go to system tools. We have disk usage analyzer, GW package installer, the new login, uh, power statistics, system log, system monitor, and system settings. I'll go in there in a little bit and show you around the system settings. We have places and recent files. And then right here we have the normal, the normal icons that are on the left here for you know your power your shutdown and your log out lock files terminal xr xchat irc system settings software manager and browser we go to system settings again Let's see we can go to menu we can change the what the menu says we can change it to whatever we want um Put your name there. You can put. I play Minecraft. I could call it the chest. You know, something cool like that. And you can also change the picture, but I don't have any pictures to put there. As you can see, it changed the chest. We'll go to system settings again. Uh, the screensavers. Let's see about that. Uh, it says dim screen default message. So you can put a message when the screen locks. I'm not going to lock the screen because it'll stop recording I believe. But you just type in whatever you want like I'm away for lunch. I'm a terrible typer by the way. I'm away for lunch. So if somebody comes in and if you, you know this would be an office situation for you. If anybody comes in they'd find that and be like oh you're off for lunch. Uh, let's see system settings again the desk glyphs I've showed you that that's the clock and there's not many of those yet but I'm sure they will expand let's 
see it. Applets. Oh, I don't. Yeah, they had applets in the other one. I'm pretty sure. We have the trash can spacer, workspace switcher, panel launchers known as Gnarle Work Manager. This is just all your normal applets, and you can get more online if you wish. But I will not worry about that right now. Okay. Anyway. Dun, dun, dun. Mouse and touchpad settings. You know, you just change the touchpad settings, all that stuff. Um, there was one other thing I was going to show you because I, I messed with it a little bit before the video just to see what I'd go over. Seems, ah, here we go other settings we can change the controls and you can do this in the other ones as well I'm just showing you here you can change it to mint uh, window border you can change that to high contrast change the mask pointer to black which I will definitely have it black you can do that I don't really like that much Stick with Mint X. I don't like for, but anyway, yeah, we changed the the top here. See the power button got changed and a few other items as well. This is your laptop battery. The Tomboy notes, uh, you know, date, time, all that good stuff at the bottom. And you can change this. You can put it to the top and put a. I that's what I usually do. I put this bottom panel up here to the top, and I have them. I have it set up kind of like the Mac interface. And you can also get more online, which I don't want to do. No. Okay. Anyway, this is Linux Mint 15. Thank you for checking out my review of it. I really like it. They did. I wish they would have added a little bit more. And I wish they wouldn't have taken away me being able to mess with the effects. I like this. I like that they added these little applet and these little uh, desktop widgets here. I hope that people make a lot of them. I'm not very good at making them, so I can't make any, but I hope people make just keep, you know, make a bunch of them. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will post a video on the next Linux Mint distro that comes out. I plan to do one for each one because this is my favorite distro so far. I haven't found a better one. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching, and I will, I will see you later.